Hey there, Bridge family, it's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to talk to you about some of the principles for leadership that we see laced into the scriptures in 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 5, 6, and 7. I just wanna show you how pregnant God's word is when we take our time and we press into it. For example, when we look at 1 Peter 5, verses 5, 6, and 7, we see as starters, the role of repetition in leadership. Our Lord doubles down on the command, clothe yourselves with humility, humble yourselves. Have you ever thought about the role of repetition in leadership and in communication? When the Lord doubles down, he's saying, listen up. That's a good tool for us to pick up with and to use when we lead and we communicate. Notice the words, yourselves, yourselves, clothe yourselves, humble yourselves. I would say to you, this emphasizes the principles of responsibility and accountability. There's the obvious here with the reference to humility more than once, again, doubling down on the role of humility in biblical leadership. What about things like consequences? We see here that the Lord makes it clear to the humble, they're promised to receive the help of God's grace. To the prideful, those that live proud and arrogant, they're promised to receive the consequence of opposition. God will oppose the proud. Again, many different facets of good biblical missional leadership being emphasized here. Do you see the very sovereignty of God and the role that our understanding and our submission to the sovereignty of God plays, not only as a leader, but those that are being led? You see the providence of God. We see the tension of sovereign grace and human responsibility all here in this little passage. And there are countless others. It's understanding what the real mission is to note that if all you're doing is sharpening your skills, but you're not aiming at the right bullseye, you can get very good at being off course. So much here, so much here, as is true throughout all of the scriptures, that when we take our time and we listen to the living and loving Lord, when we allow his word, his will, and his ways to not just shape us, but to serve as the authority in and over our lives, we're going to grow, not only as leaders, but as followers of Christ. We're not just going to grow in our effectiveness. We're going to grow as the living lights to the world that Christ has called and commissioned us to be. I pray that as we look to the principles that are undergirding the particulars throughout God's word, that we'll find ourselves growing as ambassadors for Christ. Amen and amen.